Hey guys, we are here today with the 2018 Toyota Camry. This is the V6 XSE. It has 301 horsepower, 267 pound-feet of torque, and a very red interior. I just uploaded a night drive a few days ago, and I wanted to show you what this car looks like during the day. So you can actually see some of the interior, some of the sight lines and leg room, and this and that in the back seat. And of course, these beautiful red seats. First of all, we've got a pretty nice, spacious center console here. A couple of 2.1 amp USB ports. Seat heaters that remember if you've left them on the next time you turn on the car, which is always nice. You have an aux and a USB port there, as well as a 12 volt cigarette lighter. Uh, it's a lot of high quality materials and design elements in this car. I do really like the interior on this. It's a very nice place to be. And of course, the panoramic sunroof adds to that and makes it all that more enjoyable and enticing. You have your sunroof controls up here, your interior lights, which are LED and very nice and bright at night. Nice little mirror there. Don't extend, weirdly enough, but there is a little extension piece right here that seems to block the light pretty well. You have your handles here for when you're pulling massive G's with this Camry's new Sport Tune suspension. Here's a key fob, pretty standard stuff, nothing special. It says Toyota Camry on there in the back. Let's leave that right here on the wireless charging. And pop the trunk for you guys. It pops all the way up on its own, which is a nice feature. Really wide entrance into the trunk. You could definitely fit a set of golf clubs back here, no problem. Uh, the seats fold down in a 40-60 split, but there is a little bit of a, a hindrance on the top and the sides there. That's it, a pretty spacious trunk. You've got some tools and a tire jack here, as well as a nicely placed spare tire in the middle back there. JBL speakers in the rear window. So set to my driving position, I'm about five foot 10. I have a ton of legroom in the back seat. You can see there's probably about a good six or seven inches for my knees. I have plenty of room to spread out. Um, headroom is a little bit tighter, but I probably have about an inch or two above my, above my head. You do see this roof slopes back a little bit, and that's definitely going to affect things a little bit. But it's very roomy, very comfortable back here. If I lean back a little bit, I've got a little bit more headroom at about two inches. A nice armrest. Uh, the door armrest and the center armrest kind of fall at the same height. You feel, you feel like you're in an armchair. You've got a couple of cup holders there. It's very comfortable back here, really spacious, nice low door lines and uh, you have a lot of visibility it doesn't feel cramped and of course this sunroof looks really good as well it's a little bit dirty but still looks pretty good i love this spec this white with the black roof pillars looks really good um, i just think it's a great design for this new camry the front end took me a little bit to warm up to uh, but this is a nice modern iteration. The headlights look good. You can see here you've got a front forward facing camera where you can see if you're pulling up to spaces where you are. Nice 19 inch alloy wheels. This car has the sport tuned suspension. This is pretty much fully loaded. It's almost 40 grand. It's a little bit expensive, but you are getting a lot of car and uh, you're getting a Toyota Camry, which is bound to serve you with a lot of reliability for the years to come. All right, well, let's go for a drive. A lot of adjustability with the driving position. My seat can get nice and low. You have uh, telescoping and height adjustable steering wheels. Great. 
And here, I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see it, but with the uh, reverse camera, you've got a reverse and an above 360 view. You can always change that around a little bit too. You have a few different modes. And you can turn on lines on or off. You've got a few options there, which is nice. Sight lines from the driver's seat are really good. You do have a little bit of a blind spot there in the C-pillar. But otherwise, visibility going looking forward into the sides is fantastic. I love these lower doors. It's nice that uh, Toyota was able to implement those. car really seems to come into its power in the higher revs above 5,000 RPM. It definitely wakes up. There's a decent amount of torque below that, but it definitely doesn't feel as immediate and as responsive as a turbocharged engine from some of the competitors. That said though, this V6 is very quiet. It has kind of a nice sonorous tone in the background, but you don't really hear a lot from it. throw it into sport mode, use the paddle shifters, they're nice and responsive, giving you a little bit of a blip on downshifts. And again, I'm really, really impressed with the cornering ability in this car. Nice traction in the wet, didn't really have any issues in the snow this week. chance to toss it around here a minute. One of my complaints on this Camry in general is just the, uh, the delay and throttle response from the transmission. It tends to downshift a little bit slowly. It doesn't quite give you the power that you need at certain levels of throttle. Transmission shifts really quickly when you're going through the gears, but from zero to full throttle or zero to mid throttle, there can be a pretty significant delay in acceleration. If you're trying to accelerate from a dead stop, sometimes, uh, sometimes it takes a second. Pretty comfortable on the highway. For some reason, I feel like there's maybe a little bit more road noise than I was expecting. I um, have to look up some decibel readings and some actual specs and compare it to other cars in the range, but I was expecting it to be a little bit quieter on, on the highway. That said, everything else, uh, the engine and, and noise, vibration, harshness is very, very well damped throughout the car not hearing any significant wind noise or anything, just some just some tire noise, just some road noise, which may also have to do with the 19-inch wheels and the sportier tires that are on this car. The heads-up display is a nice touch. You could probably see it right in there. Uh, once you engage cruise control, you can see all sorts of different things. Um, your following distance, your speed, speed limit, stuff like that. It comes really in handy when you're on the highway. You have automatic high beams over here, automatic climate control, all the goodies, fully loaded, heated mirrors, auto hold, braking function. Putting the car into eco mode gives you an eco word on the climate control there, which I assume kind of makes things just a little bit more economical. Driving dynamics aren't really that much different from normal mode, though the car does feel just a little bit smoother and less willing to accelerate quickly. I'm sure there's some throttle mapping that's been changed.
I do really like the ride quality balanced with the level of handling on this new Camry. Um, I remember Camrys of old used to be a little bit wallowy, a little bit, a little bit sketchy on the limit. They'd have a ton of power and really wouldn't be able to put that power down. This car does a nice job of really, really putting down its numbers. Um, the eight-speed transmission works well, just with a few gripes on on that delay. Uh, that does kind of bug me, but ultimately, once you get used to it, uh, you can kind of account for that when you're driving, and it's fine. But Alright guys, so as you'd expect, pretty pretty impressed with this new Camry. It's a nice car, it's just a, for me it's a little bit expensive. Um, 40 grand, you're getting into some, some higher territory there, and um, this is a really nice car to drive, a lot of luxurious amenities, a lot of nice tech technology. Um, I love the design, I love the look and feel of everything, but I can't quite help but feel that the new Honda Accord Sport is more fun to drive. Um, the idea of looks is kind of up to the buyer. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder, but um, this is still a very nice car. Hope you guys enjoy this review. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And I think we'll end it there. You can hear there just how quiet the engine is. I can barely hear it running. It's, it's pretty nice. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys later.